What's going on YouTube? Chris Wrestling Views, of course, here on YouTube.com. If you watch this on TikTok, Chris Wrestling Views as well. It used to be called Chris R9 for you guys, but I decided to change that. So, you guys, uh, today is Sunday. Um, what's today's day? Oh, January 22nd. So, you guys, this upcoming Saturday, we have the premium live event, the WWE Royal Rumble held in San, San Antonio, Texas. So you guys, uh, so let's start off with um, the women's, uh, the Raw Women's Championship match, which is going to be Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss. So now we know that Alexa Bliss was, you know, with um, with Bianca Belair, after being with Bianca Belair and Asuka and having that three woman team to fight off damage control. Then it ended up coming down to where, you know, who's going to face Bianca. Then next thing you know, we've always guessed that it was gonna be uh, Alexa Bliss since um, Bray Wyatt had this Uncle Howdy stuff going on. We knew that we knew that was coming. So you guys, with that being said, I'm thinking right now with all this stuff going on with Alexa, you know, flashing before her mind and then you know basically turning heel. The only thing I can pretty the, the only thing I can pretty much think of you guys is I would have to say Bianca Belair possibly will retain her Raw Women's Championship. If not, then who could step up? But then again, on the other side of what I'm thinking is Alexa Bliss could possibly win by um the her doll or something, you know, coming up on the screen. And saying something and winking or being like out on the barricade or or Uncle Howdy Mask or something, you guys. But if I had to pick a winner of this match, I'm just going to go with Bianca Belair. But Alexa Bliss could win also. So I want to know what y'all think. Y'all give me y'all uh, thoughts and opinions on Alexa Bliss um, versus Bianca Belair. Now, before I go to this um, next match... I want to also say, you know, uh, tomorrow night, you guys, on uh, January 23rd, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the uh, Raw 30. Now, we know Raw 30 is going to consist of having uh, the Judgment Day versus the Usos for the uh, Raw Tag Team Championship, which is going to be a exciting match, I would have to say the least. But then again, if the Usos does uh, retain their championships, then they will possibly... Uh, be uh, wrestling Judgment Day at the Royal Rumble, or they can do it this way, where let's say uh, Sheamus and um, and Drew McIntyre win. Now let's say they have Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre versus the Usos versus the Judgment Day in a triple threat, um, triple threat tag team match. Winner takes all the belts. They could do that, or like I said. Judgment Day defeats the uh, Usos on Monday Night Raw and, you know, basically, you know, after then, SmackDown, um, you know, we could see basically like for the Royal Rumble, um, something. I don't know, you guys. But uh, anyways, you guys, they may add like a, um, one of the tag team um, title matches onto the um, Royal Rumble card because we still have Monday Night Raw tomorrow night and then also this Friday. We uh, have SmackDown uh, as well. So we definitely have to see if they're going to put another match on the card. Now, you guys, the next match I want to talk about, the pick, the pitch, excuse me, the pitch black match, which is Bray Wyatt versus LA Knight. Now, we know that Bray Wyatt has been battling, um, you know, with Uncle Howdy. And I don't know if that was Uncle Howdy, the other character, the one that that had like this weird looking mask on the face. Now I know Uncle Howdy has like that um that monopoly like man mustache. But then again you guys on thinking of that um Bray Wyatt could, yeah I mean Bray Wyatt is gonna win his match against uh LA Knight. But after that what will happen then? I mean I don't want to see Bray Wyatt, you know, uh putting up the firehouse fun house um you know every week and stuff like that. And then making like like a creepy like you know uh, thing on TV. I rather you know I rather like to you know see him uh, actually wrestle. But you guys, um, with that being said, 
I'm real curious. I'm real curious um, on who will Bray Wyatt fight next if he defeats LA Knight at the Royal Rumble. Y'all let me know some um, picks of who could um, be facing Bray Wyatt next. Could it be Karrion Cross? Who knows? All right, next, you guys, uh, let's go with the um, men's Royal Rumble match. Now, we know there are a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors, a lot of everything about The Rock being part of the Royal Rumble. Then again, we also got Cody Rhodes that has been confirmed by the WWE and Cody Rhodes himself that he's going to be in Royal Rumble match. Now, could Cody Rhodes um, be the one to win the uh, Royal Rumble this year? Now, if so, I mean, that'd, that'd be great. That'd be cool. Uh, but also, if we get, let's say, The Rock, I mean, that's going to be another cool match. Like, let's say Kevin Owens lose. Let's say, okay, think of this, you guys. Let me put my tablet down for a minute. Let's say if Kevin Owens lose to Roman Reigns, then whoever wins the Royal Rumble faces Roman Reigns. Let's say The Rock throws Cody Rhodes out the ring. And after then, it'd be Rock versus Roman. Then we end up add, adding Cody Rhodes to that match. And adding Cody Rhodes to that match, you know, that'll spice up a little bit of something because, you know, let's say, basically let's say, also let's throw another speculation out. Let's say if uh, The Rock, if he competes in a Royal Rumble, if The Rock and Cody Rhodes both like one foot touches the thing and then both of them fall then you're gonna have a draw of a Royal Rumble now with that draw of the Royal Rumble um both of the guys like I feel like I already I can feel it that Kevin Owens is gonna lose to Roman Reigns um you know because that was gonna be the next match I was gonna talk about Kevin Owens is definitely gonna lose to Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble then this is gonna set up something big for Roman Reigns at WrestleMania uh this year so i'm ready for wrestlemania um on april 1st and the second now it's a lot of speculation you guys that we can you know because now this is the first royal rumble that triple eight has been in charge of right now being in charge of, of creative and all this stuff i know a lot of people are ready for this i'm ready for this it is freaking this saturday you guys so i mean this is this is going to be a this is going to be a significant extravaganza extravaganza for the Royal Rumble. Now, you guys, there can be some possible swerve. There can be some possible swerves uh, as well. Now, we still haven't forgot about you know Brock Lesnar want to be a part of the Royal Rumble. He definitely wants to. Now, Brock Lesnar, you know he get you know. If you don't see Brock Lesnar on TV, they're not going to cut him a check. Now, I'm reading something on here um, on sportskeeter.com. And they said Bray, um, Brock Lesnar returns in the Royal Rumble, which this will make perfect sense, you guys. Brock Lesnar returns and gets eliminated quickly by Bobby Lashley. Now, that could, you know, that, that could be pretty true. Because now we know that Brock Lesnar holds the record for the most uh, eliminations in the Royal Rumble match with throwing out 13 people. Now, also, you guys, another swerve they're talking about here is Roman Reigns turns on Sami Zayn at the Royal Rumble. Now, we've seen what happened on Friday Night SmackDown. And if you didn't see it, please go to WWE on Fox here on YouTube.com um, or, yeah, and check it out. So another speculation they got here is uh, Uncle Howdy calls Bray Wyatt uh, his match um, at the Royal Rumble. And then also remember Uncle Howdy quoted, he said, I told you so, all you needed was a little push. And uh, what? And so what's the next one, you guys? Rhea Ripley entered the men's Royal Rumble, you guys, after, women, after winning the women's Royal Rumble. Now... I forgot about, I forgot, I slick forgot about uh, Rhea Ripley. Now, if Rhea Ripley does win the Women's Royal Rumble, which I don't see why not, then who will Alexa Bliss go after? Because, I mean, you know she got to keep up that feud, you know, right now. Uh, I mean, she got to keep up, you know, her character and everything. 
But yeah, Rhea Ripley entered the main Royal Rumble. Probably who? Probably what? We already know Solo is gonna be in there. He probably gonna be staring down Rhea Ripley, and uh, Rhea Ripley probably gonna get thrown out by um, Solo Sokoa or something like that. Cause Solo Sokoa really wanted to hit her with that Samoan spike, but I was like, man. So yeah, number one, you guys, Roman Reigns makes an appearance during the men's Royal Rumble match. I mean, Roman Reigns makes an appearance during the Royal Rumble match to eliminate The Rock. Now, if Roman Reigns does uh, eliminate The Rock, they're going to have to... If, Rum, if The Rock was close to winning, I feel like they should do a triple threat match or a one-on-one -on -one match like Cody Rhodes versus Roman for the titles uh, for night one. And then, let's say, out of the ordinary... Roman wins. Now, with Roman winning, let's say night two, Rock challenges um, Rock challenges Roman. But either way, they're going to take one of the belts off Roman Reigns. I've been hearing rumors all day about this stuff, you guys. But let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your predictions on everything of what could possibly happen at the Royal Rumble. Feel free, you guys, to uh, message me on TikTok. Um, are at Chris Wrestling Views. That's K H R I S Wrestling Views V I E W S. Be sure I'll put link down below to my TikTok so you can guys can uh, check me out on there and watch all my little short videos I do on there. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.